milk is a um, very sensitive thing. When the cow doesn't want to do it, cow doesn't want to do it. Can't do anything about it. How often do you eat cheese? Um, every day. I'm addicted to cheese, I think. And the closest thing you tried it with? Oh, it can be less. That's not very nice. I think that's why the chef said don't use cheese on fish. See? That's why here I don't listen. Don't try that at home. I'm telling you. It is almost miraculous when the white mold start to grow. It's always like, wow, it looks it looks really nice. So, you know, I like nice things anyway. My name is Anissa Iwan. I'm a cheese maker. My hobby is making cheese. And then I make so much cheese that I keep on buying fridges. My husband told me, okay, we don't have enough space for your cheeses anymore. You have to get rid of it somehow, but I can't just get rid of it. I have that light bulb moment. Oh, maybe we can see if we can sell it. I want to make like local cheese and you can tell that it is local by the different flavorings from the herbs, salam leaf, beetle leaf on it, and all these things that you can get in the bread market. I'm planning to do um, soft bloomy rind, like camembert style, but with a twist, and then I'm going to name it, of course, with a Malaysian name. Do you have any suggestion? Yeah, you have to come back in maybe in four weeks. <laughs> Some converted into non-cheese eater to cheese eater. That's what I want to do, you know. I want to make a cheese trend in Malaysia that Asian can make cheese and Asian can eat cheese. We like it too. It's just that we're not used to it. A lot of care has gone through the cheese. It is made with passion, with, with care, with love. And this is something that I love to do and it's been inspiration for me to make great food, especially now the cheese. I read like some recent study, eating cheese is good for you and can make you live longer, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, yes! See, honey? <laughs> <laughs>